for the years I've been practicing, I would say art is about contrast. And when you look at my work, you can see a lot of contrast. The material, the technique, I'm really open-minded. I keep switching here and there. I uh, experiment with different materials and different surfaces. Uh, my name is uh, Waswad Donald Augustine, also known as Waswad from Uganda. I'm based in Entebbe. From childhood, I've been doing art. And uh, one of my inspirations is my dad, because he used to, you know, draw things for me. And one of the highlights I remember is the used to label all my books with a very good uh, lettering. So slowly I started to pick from that. But later in life, when I joined secondary, I started living with my aunt. She saw that I came into art, and then she really encouraged me and pushed me to go for art openings and everything like that. The first show that I went to, it was at Normal Gallery. It was a group show. And from that point, I started to interact with them. For me, that was the starting point. I don't really have a routine. I'll only produce a piece of art. If the ideas are really fresh and I feel like I should, then I, I go and work. One of the artists I always uh, looked up to was Zenson. I, I really liked his approach. It was more conceptual and I really liked his message. I like to use uh, First of all, organic materials are readily available materials, but also things that other people relate to. And also a material that defines where I come from. I don't like the title African artist because I think you don't really have to say you're an African artist or, you're, or American or whatever. But at times it's the material yeah, that you work with that will define who you it's evident. So even with the, the way I name my pieces, I get all these names from the people I interact with in the process of getting materials. I think the paintings inform the sculptures and the sculptures inform the drawing. The reasons why I keep switching it's because I try to reinvent myself. I don't want to get bored. You'll find most of my inspirations are from design. I really love architecture and I really love uh, fashion. I like how things are simplified. At times I, I consider the aesthetics a key. When I look at buildings, these are like, these are huge sculptures. I like how they take on space and how people interact with them. For me, such a piece is like a, a smaller version of a building and I'm imagining how people interact with it. Currently, this, this talk about the AI, uh, when I think about it, I'm like, it's a reminder that actually, we as human beings are creating these things to ease our lives, yeah? But in the long run, whatever we're creating is kind of starting to control, you know, who we become. Uh, at the moment, this is what really interests me. I was planning to have all these creatures and I'm imagining like so many years that have passed and, and these creatures that were once created by humans are the ones, you know, taking over and they are now discussing what the humans that used to live, what they had, what they used to do and how they thought. So I was imagining already that all these things have replaced the humans and it's now history. And now all these creatures, the, the ones that I call animals, are the ones in charge now. Uh, Immortal Objects is a title I got from one of the pieces I had in the last show. I'm building that as a bigger body of work. I'm keenly looking at the material and how it's transforming, it's living in different lives until at that point where I produced that piece of work. It's these ideas I keep getting and then transforming them to the pieces that you see. And then there's an audience that comes up and then they view that. And then 
from what I tell them, or even without telling them, they see something else. So from the same ideas, I again get more ideas that I make more pieces. So it's like a, a cycle, you know. I really love the setup. Personally, I love space. And, and actually you can see that in my work. I've always uh, wanted to, to have a, a bigger space where I can show my work as a, as a whole. So this, I feel it's a good opportunity to show up at Circle, at Gallery. <laughs>